Our heroin epidemic taking a big hit. That's our big story tonight. The FBI today raided six homes suspected of dispensing deadly drugs. All the homes were vacant, like so many others on Dayton's east side. Agents hauled away heroin and also something else, something that makes heroin even more lethal, fentanyl. That deadly mix killed 17 people in just one weekend here this past summer. And Elise Coulter is live downtown showing you one family's pain. Elise? Jack, according to the Montgomery County Corner, they see every day at least one person who's died from a heroin fentanyl overdose. It's a staggering number to those who's lost a loved one in that way. But they're hoping that today's raid could have saved just one life. He was a very brilliant young man with a huge heart. Elizabeth Eckert enjoys talking about her son, Jay. Drugs change a person. It's not who they are, it's what they become. Jay struggled with drug addiction for 10 years until his death earlier this year. The coroner's report was fentanyl intoxication is what killed him. Fentanyl is being mixed with heroin. In fact, in August, there were 17 overdose deaths related to heroin and fentanyl in just one weekend. It's deadly. It's totally deathly. You're playing Russian roulette every single time you take a heroin or you think you're buying heroin. It's the same deadly combination that FBI agents took off the streets earlier today. It is a start. I'm glad that they're working on this epidemic. The drugs were found inside six vacant homes on the city's east side, a reality Eckert knows all too well. Somebody would have been doing that, that drug today. There would have been a lot more deaths tomorrow. Eckert is hoping by police taking down some of the drug dealers and getting rid of their stash, it's the beginning of something good. These people don't need to die. They, they need help. And if you can kind of get it off the street, it's a start. Several people were taken into custody this morning. Now, we're still not sure just how much heroin and fentanyl was taken off the streets. For now, reporting live in downtown Dayton, Elise Coulter, Fox 45 News.